Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I am here to do the general weekly forecast for the Libra. Okay, so um, this week is going to be all about um, letting go of the past. Um, sometimes our past is what is slowing us down and creating blockages in progress, okay? Um, so this is going to be a five card reading. It may not resonate for all of you. This is going to be for um, May the 9th, 2016 to <clears throat> May the 16th, 2016. And this is just a general reading. This is not love focused or anything. So um, it's just a general forecast. <clears throat> um, so card number one is going to be what you need to throw away. Card number two is what you need to block. Card number three is what action you need to take. Card number four is just what you need to avoid altogether this week and probably beyond this week. And then number five is what you need to accept and embrace. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just going to shuffle a couple more times. Again, it may not resonate with everybody. I do see kind of a messy kind of a, I don't know, the cards are kind of... Yeah, they're all they're flying all over the place. Okay, so I think that I can start shuffle. I can stop shuffling. I can't talk. I'm tired. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So, um, Leo. I'm sorry, not Leo. Libra. Um, card number one. What you need to discard. You got the Eight of Cups. So what you need to discard is, um, I, you know, the card, the Eight of Cups is really about avoidance. Um, this is about avoiding something, abandoning something. Um, you know, some sort of personal development is going to be going on this week. So you're going to be. Um, you know, basically, you know, this card means leaving and going in some sort of change in life lifestyle. Um, now, the eight does su does suggest that there is some sort of stability and security, but it's at a personal cost, and you're probably unfulfilled by your current life. And depending on the rest of the spread, it's it may be strong enough for you to move on and find the courage to, you know, go in a different direction. Um, this card does represent the Pisces because the Pisces are the fish. They're um, swimming in two different directions, but they have to choose a path. So this is, a, to some degree, a change of lifestyle happening for you. And it may bring some feelings of avoidance, indifference, you know, um, and it could indicate a need to give up, leave, or turn away from something in your current life. And so you're probably going to be feeling really melancholy this week. Um, card number two <clears throat> is what you need to block altogether. And you got the two of swords. So this is some sort of partnership that has conflict. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's a definite power struggle. And it's not making you happy. Okay. This should jive with number one. <clears throat> and card number two is saying, you know, whatever this is that you're wanting to leave behind, it's not making you happy, even though, you know, there's a balance because there's one energy fighting another, one dark, one light. And those energies, while they do mesh together, it's still not, it's still something that you want to avoid because it's not what you want. And, you know, it's just, a, it's a challenge, you know, it's a constant challenge. So, for this one, uh, card number two is what you need to block, and it would be some sort of connection with one other person. Um, some sort of, not just the connection, but some sort of mental, mental connection. It's some sort of mental connection. It's something dealing with your perception, you know, and then your perception of that person is not really that good anyway, because you're wanting to leave anyway. Now, um, card number three is what action you 
should take and I got the high priestess so what you need is some spiritual guidance is what is what the high priestess says um, this week is going to be a major week for you as far as you know what you're going to manifest and you know the high priestess is saying you know use your energy for you know for yourself okay this is about intuition um, this is also about using your intuition using you know um, the high priestess is a very feminine card so this is basically a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect um, you want to pay attention to your dreams you know also there they'll, they'll, there will be synchronicities um, it's really a very highly spiritual card Um, also, if you take the advice of the high priestess, then a pleasant surprise will be coming your way in regarding in regards to money and luck and work. And the high priestess has a lot of sexual overtones, meaning using your personal power, your kundalini energy to manifest what you want. Um, so that's a really beautiful card for you to get. <clears throat> now, card number four is what you need to avoid or stay away from. And you did get the six of cups. So this is someone from the past. This is a past relationship. Doesn't matter how long ago it was. Someone that is no longer in your life. That, you know, you may either want a reunion or they may want a reunion with you. You know, I do see that you do need to avoid that person because, you know, even though, you know, there's sort of this peanut gallery of people um, encouraging it, it's still something that the cards are saying that you need to avoid. Um, this person is not going to be good and it's not going to turn out well. Um, now, this is what you need to accept. And you got the seven of wands. And I think the Seven of Wands really is saying, with it being a seven, and then again, there's a crescent moon, there's definitely a, bl a block in growth. The energies are around you, but you need to make yourself, you need to make your way out of that darkness is what I'm saying. Um, the Eight of Wands is a little girl, it could be a boy, running through the woods or the forest and against overwhelming odds the final she finally discovers a path that will lead her home seven blooming wands mark the end of her ordeal so in this illustration we're, we're seeing her you know come out of this unscathed so you would beat the odds you know and you and I definitely do see you know the possibility of you you know um, overcoming that fight or whatever it is that you're struggling with but the only way you're going to do it is by really tapping into your identity and who you are so I do see you sort of you know beating the odds or whatever but you definitely do need to take the advice of the cards and that is to leave, you know, whatever, you know, happens this week in your past. And it may not, I'm not saying that an old lover or something is coming back. I'm not saying that an old lover, old friend, it could be, but it could also be, you know, your desire. You know, that particular desire is what's holding you back. Um, that's going to conclude this reading. If you want a more personalized reading, check out the link in the video description box to my website. Make sure that you subscribe and also thumbs up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week.